ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin of what could be called Cold Open or possibly Free Play Friday. This is a free to play game that I spotted on to the American US, the USA, the American PSN store. Um, Wonderjar. Try again or walk away. I think Wonderjar, I know I've seen it before showing up on Steam pages and uh, I think it was on PS Vita as well. But uh, I have no idea what this game is otherwise. Uh, it looks like it's RPG esque slash card battlers slash kind of like Karari Magic Library. I don't know. So we're going to take a proper look at it as like a first look and we're going to figure out whether or not it is. I, I can find out whether or not it is actually a card battler or a actual like RPG game. And I don't even know. Workery. Game Studio. I like the name. But it's like maybe like Valkyrie? Or Wakari. Wakari. Okay, so this is a demo. Okie dokie. Playtime of the demo listed. So there's very, very little in the menus here. Um, let's try the demo version of Wonderjar. Ooh, I'm a little bit excited, even though it looks very, very simple. 101 years ago, there, when we found it, the universal source code. It's the source code for all that has existed, and all that ever will. And as we came to understand it, we sought to change it, to recreate a world free of evil and malevolence. A world that will finally know peace. To this end, we have conquered countless impossibilities. We are only two weeks away from the final phase. North of Ocarina Wind City, Sun Territory, UN Jiraiya, World Organization for Peace and Order, Branch 736, 8 a.m., First Blossom Moon Year, 3101. Today the branch opens for the first time. Oh, I'm, I'm C, your operator. Today is our first duty, so let's do our best. Oh, sounds like our first mission. Okie dokie. We've received a report that monsters are rampaging in the city. Our mission is to eliminate them all. Mission begins. All right. This really... Hi, let's begin! Okay, so it is it is card battler, premier inflictor of physical damage. So we got our first card, first character. This feels unbelievably like I'm playing Karari, to be honest right now. It looks like a really low, like low graphical level, um, not as hectic Karari. And I'm... Intrigued to see what this is. Okay, uh, press R to select. Okay. And I put you here. Okay. Oh. Oh my. They're going to auto-fight? Ah, right. Um. Yeah, so I get experience for killing. Are they going to keep auto-attacking or am I going to lose a character? Oh. Kill the zombie! Boom! Something that will drop chills. Press. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Cool. I got some G. So that's them all done. Our new member has arrived. Right. So the defender. And uh, so I grab you. And I put you in there. So that guy defends and drags the enemies away. And then she can punch at them from behind. That's smart. So pretty much you kind of like just set up characters for particular rules. Same as Karari kind of did, where you have one doing one, one doing the other. Um, Admittedly, this looks really simple animation for the characters moving around. Maybe a little bit almost like Plants vs. Zombies kind of thing. When comes the area, will be KO'd. Uh-oh. So do we need a healer? Use Kiki. Where's the kick? The kick is not a lie. Boom. Done and dusted. Ah, uh, so the items are expensive. You, buy, you probably use the G to buy those. Okay. Well, it's better to have one of those and the other team instead. Bam. Heal me up. Medic! And let's see, we want to keep all the aggro off him. Boom. Make sure to pass square for all of the gems. <clears throat> so, zombie girls with baseball bats are failing miserably to win the fight. I'm beating them down with a mallet made out of a rabbit and an accordion. This looks like it was designed for mobile and for PS Vita. And uh, this looks interesting. Okay, buy milk. All right, so item shop. Buy milk. All right. Buy one of those. <clears throat> um, options. Yeah, again, options are not very <laughs> elaborate. Uh, move on to the next stage. So this feels a lot less involved and entertaining than Karari was. I am not 
I'm not like cutesy characters doesn't make me excited. All right, so I'm gonna need to put shield on. <gasps> oh no! Yeah, well, that's that healed. Kill that guy! Beat him down! Beat him down! Yeah. Well, since she keeps dropping heals, he keeps dropping damage. It'll be fine. So this could take a while. Hey! And that guy's down. And now we actually have a specialist for magic. Alright, works for me. And they... Oh! And they go in there. So now we actually have the four members of our team. And I imagine like each of these characters level up or EXP levels up and you get new people along the way. And then you have like uh, magic heavy ones for specific missions. This is... Um... Not exactly... Rocket science, but I don't expect it. I don't imagine it's meant to. I'm sure it gets a lot more interesting. Let's see how to select team target. Okay. Uh, L1, R1. All right. Huh. Aha. That's interesting. So you can actually select the targets you want, you can put their focus on things, that works for me. So you essentially just point the pointer on the one that you want and then everybody focuses their attack rather than actually attacking whoever is nearby or whatever is the most danger to them at the time. That works for me, makes sense. So yeah, and uh, we can level up. So that's how this works, so you level up each one of the character classes as you go along and it gives you new skills. Alright, interesting. Uh, magical damage attacker, yep. So, if I hit him... Um, and what does that do? I grow a strike. So, I don't know what the... Uh, if HP is higher than 30%, the care... Oh, it cannot be k in a single hit. Very useful. Oh, level up. Oh, they can all level up. I thought it was actually like spending level up points on one of them. Happy days. So all of them get at least one. Oh, wait. Do I have more points to spend? Oh, right. So level cap is six. Hmm. Well, um, I think I may just... Well, she's actually got enough medic. So we'll level up you. And we'll level up you. And still go again. Happy days. Do more damage. All right, so my magic attacker is going to be sound back attacking. Uh, the rest of them are going to do their thing. So you have so many points for each one of the ones. So you just spend EXP as you need them. Um, fair enough. I um, don't really need to worry about healing just now. I want to raise more cash. So, yeah. I mean, there's not really much to actually add to the game here. Oh, another new member. A cute dancer who uses her dance routines to gain brand and official status effects to teammates. So can I replace her with that? And, yeah. And uh, swap them in and out as I need. Ah, so status effects to switch across. Happy days. So if she actually puts on all her skills in one and then I can swap them across. Right, that works for me. That's pretty cool. So, uh, switching them in and out for uh, damage buffs and for protection. So, that's actually that's a nice touch. Uh, actively controlling your team. Uh, see the enemy's information. Uh, if you kind of need it. So, yeah, zombie info. You already ran into them a couple of times. There we go. I like this. It works really well. Um, this kind of this quick switching between teammates. Uh, I mean, it does the same thing I kind of feel like it does whenever I'm playing Karari, but 
I know maybe because it's an active kind of screen battle, it looks like you're doing more, but you feel like you're playing a lot less than, than another game like that. So I, I would definitely not recommend this over Karari. But um, it looks like a fun, interesting little game. I mean, I hope hope this isn't being charged at like a full price or anything, because that would be a bit messed up. Ah, uh, and there's a pause button if you actually want to do that. Ah, uh, is that a button up there? That's pretty cool. I actually like the fact that the... Oh, no, that's not who I'm looking for. I'm looking for that guy. Ooh. I was actually like, cause you rotate through them. So you don't really pick them with the Eleanor. You just kind of rotate through the list until the ones that are actually highlighted. So you always know which one it is going to be. Oh, kill him! Kill them all! Okay, so what's this one? Thief? So you can steal enemy items and steal art secret artifacts from any range. Ooh, very cool. So if I rotate her in to there... He needs healing! He needs healing! Do more damage, do more damage! So I like this. It's actually... It's effective. I mean, essentially, it makes me stop to think to actually how to take down people here. So I can get rid of you. And put you in instead. So the, the fact that you just run from chain fight to chain fight, rather than actually being like one fight, you can actually just have a series of battles one after another, where if you can manage to survive, and I can see what the cooldown is for each of the attacks on people as well, it works pretty well. Uh, put you in, replace that. As long as you keep the defender alive, you'll all be fine. Yeah, okay. But I have to return the artifact now, next time. Alright, so you buy an artifact for a full match boost. That makes sense. So yeah, that wasn't actually too bad. I enjoyed that. Oh, wait, whoa! How did that? Oh, did it go straight into another fight? All right, so I was going to stop the video there, but I suppose we'll actually just finish off with this another one. Um, yeah, I need you to replace her. A masked man who uses biogenetic weapons to inflict harmful status effects. Ooh! This was essentially a debuff grenade. Doing all the damage! Doodle 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 So as a demo, this feels like it's got a, a decent amount of a little bit of gameplay into it. It's got a, an expression of what this world's gonna be, which is a series of blank screens. Okay, replace you. And... Bam, take him down.
Uh, I replace you. Oh shit! No, no, no! You go back in. You stay healing. Um, shit. All right, I need to replace you with that. Uh, he's down. Crap. Yeah, this is all gonna go wrong. It's all going to go horribly wrong. Oh, it's all over. It's all over. I don't even have the items to be able to heal myself. So we're going to finally die off here. I think it was kind of like the point to actually just have a chain of one after another. So like I get my ass beat and it proves a point. But that's what happens whenever all my characters all fall down. And I can't replace anybody who actually gets knocked over. Alright, so that's what it was. Retry. Oh god, no. Oh god, no, 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 no. No, we're, no, we're not playing... Any more of this? Yeah, quit. <laughs> so obviously we see a bunch of stuff, uh, artifacts, gallery of cool things that we've seen, enemies along the way. Um, I am so gonna get flagged for this tune, but ain't that cute? Oh, man. Okay, uh, turn you down so that I don't get any more of that. What you saw is what there is of Wonderjar. Uh, Wonderjar. The uh, Wandering Journey. Um, or the Journey in Years, or whatever it actually would be translated across to. But, uh, yeah. This is a very simple, uh, obviously transported from touchscreen mobile game that has been released on PS Vita and now on PS4 in the United States. Um, I'm not into this. I played it there, and I found myself getting pulled in, but I'm not actually into this game by any stretch of imagination. This will be the one and only time I will ever load it up, but if it's what you saw in this tickles your fancy from like, the cute combat characters to uh, constant horde streams of enemies and switching back and forth between characters constantly, you enjoy the hell out of this. I could see, I could see why some people hit the, the hit Karari whenever I played it, and how I got into it, but this feels a lot less kind of like story based and much more action based, and that could be what does it for you. Um, not for me, but maybe for tickling somebody else's fancy. So this has been a cold open for Wanderjar. Try again or walk away, and I'm pretty sure we're going to walk away. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show and me commenting and playing this game, you can hit the subscribe button up there and you'll get an update of every single video as it comes out. Uh, make sure to hit that button because you could miss some stuff because I put out videos pretty damn regularly. And over here on the side, you can see other stuff that I've actually done over the last months, year, whatever else. Um, some of them are cold open. Some of them are stuff from my Made in Japan series, which this feels like it should fit in towards being in Japan, but obviously it wasn't on the Asian uh, PSN, and it wasn't actually in Japanese, so that's one of the reasons why I didn't get the made in Japan, which I should call it made in Asia. Um, so check out that. There's going to be a Karari video there and other stuff that I can recommend, so you should check those out for yourself in future. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Make sure to see me again and come back and hit like, comment, subscribe, and all those kind of normal, regular things that people always say at the end of videos, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.